I'm Bob Berry, I'm the CEO of Envela VR. We're building the world's first immersive computing platform. It allows you to take all of your existing native Windows applications, we pull them into VR, and then through our SDK, we provide a path for them to incrementally take advantage of that new uh, environment. Yeah, so just having been through the demo now, I see that it looks like a normal Windows computer, and then when you put on the headset, you're in this crazy space, yeah. and everything's moving around, you're, it's all around you, you can change where things are, it is, you even have a webcam pointing down at a keyboard, so you can and see your hands and your mouse and yeah, everything. Yeah, which is, I, I wouldn't have thought of that, but it's obviously very helpful. Yeah. It's, it's almost kind of mind-boggling because it still is the normal computer, but what's happening in there is different. How does that work? Yeah, we're, we're basically, we're ingesting Windows into VR um, against its will. <laughs> and those applications, when they're in our environment, they don't even know that they're running in virtual reality. They're completely mm -hmm. unaware of it. As far as they're concerned, That's what they, look like. they still feel like they're in jail um, mm -hmm. in the 2D desktop ecosystem. But um, it's our SDK that enables them to become aware that they're in virtual reality. And that's why you saw like Excel, for example, could push data into your environment mm -hmm. and actually create an immersive object that you can move your head around, you can stick your yeah. face in the data, right? Um, that's what our SDK enables. So we, we bridge all of your apps into mm -hmm. VR with our kind of a core piece of our platform technology and then provide a path with our SDK to extend into VR. And so you have those buttons and those don't show up to people who are just browsing the web normally. Right. And so then when we click it in there, it, it, it has some sort of external protocol that is bringing up the VR object that people can play with and then, uh, and then your envelope is just handling all of that. Yeah, is yeah, that like for, as an example for the web page, you saw the lawn chair, right? Like. The, the web page, when you integrate our SDK, a JavaScript SDK, it becomes aware when it's being uh, browsed in VR and says, oh, you're in VR? I, let me show you these extra buttons that yeah. other people don't get. And um, yeah, and then when you press one of those buttons, it can push objects into your into the scene. And um, you know, we handle the heavy lifting of rendering and simulation and just, you know, Joe jo JavaScript developers of the world don't need to worry about the performance. It's a completely asynchronous uh, SDK um, and, or API and allows them to uh, write code like they're naturally used to writing and we'll handle all the heavy lifting. Cool. I mean, the what we want to create is a very robust platform and a robust SDK so people can take their own personal applications that they've been developing or websites and extend them into VR, but in ways that we've never imagined before. Right, and that's and is you know the SDK is very you know rich and and but but generic. So we don't think we have all the answers. We we want to create a platform of innovation for everybody to innovate on.